School then versus now. I ain't gonna lie. School back then was a lot different than it was now. Because it's just like, bro, people don't give a fuck, bro. Back then in school, the worst thing you probably had to worry about was a rumor spreading about you. And then, worst case scenario, all you had to do was just grow up and have a bro, glove and everything so was going to be fine. But nowadays, the worst thing you got to worry about is your sex tape being leaked. Uh, people giving top and, like, doing stuff on the stairs. Like, bro, what the fuck happened, bro? In a span of, like, 10 to 20 years, the whole shit just flipped, bro. Like, I know... The craziest story I probably have of me being in high school was when I was in ninth grade. I was walking down this big ass flight of stairs because our school had two floors, but it had about like four or five staircases. So I'm walking down the stairs one day and I'm walking like not quietly intentionally, but I'm just walking, right? And when I'm walking, all I hear is, I'm like, yo! I don't say nothing. I just keep walking. But, you know, it's like I was a kid that got my ass beat for stomping. So I just mastered the natural art of walking silent. You feel me? So I'm walking and I just hear, uh, uh, uh. I'm like, hey, in my head, though. So then I hear, hey, yo, take these off real quick. I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm just sitting there listening. And as I'm sitting there listening, all I hear is, what the fuck is that? No, but for real, I, I just start hearing these. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is going on there? So I would start walking down there. Like, not saying, not even trying to peep on them at this point, but I'm just trying to get to where I got to go. And this is like in between classes. Like, this wasn't on everybody's walking the hallway shit. This is like, I guess, a quickie in between. Like, you know what I'm saying? They skipping class doing this shit. I don't know why. They could have went to the bathroom, but hey, it is what it is. So as I'm like walking down the stairs, like, when you get down to the last, there's a little bit of a dip. So, you got to, like, jump down to it. And then when I do it, all you hear is, pe like, all you hear is, like, hold up, like, hold up. And I just say, like, hey, bro, y'all good? Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say shit. Carry on. And I just walk out the doors. Simple as that. Because, like, what the fuck am I supposed to, what the fuck am I supposed to say? I'm not about to go snitch. I don't give a fuck. Like, granted, I did know the two people that was doing it. But it's just, like, that's insane, bro. Y'all could have picked such a better place. The stairs? It's crazy. All right, let's get into this video, though. We got school then versus now. Bro, school is so much different than it used to be, bro. From the people, the atmosphere, like, everything is just so much different. Honestly and truthfully, not just the atmosphere has changed. A lot of the people have changed, too. Because back then, you didn't really have to worry about people like the Ratchet Girls, Discord right. Mod, or School Threats. Actually, Ratchet Girls did exist back then, but they were nowhere to the level they are now. Like, Ratchet Girls in the past used to have some level of class. Now, they just Ratchet to be Ratchet. Oh, young and shit at 7.45 in the morning for no purpose. Like, bro, shut up. Don't even get me started with the difference of bathroom bro back then you could actually use the bathroom in peace when as long as you did your business and got out you were straight nowadays the bathroom is a whole war zone bro Swear. drug deals be going on boxing matches he like the ufc in that bitch hot boxing sessions throughout the whole bathroom nicotine fiends offering you a vape every five seconds hell you can barely even use the bathroom in the school bathrooms no more that shit is absolutely cooked like back and then don't forget about the barbers too you got bathroom barbers and shit bro like where was these bathroom barbers at when I was a kid, bro? Like, that shit makes no sense, bro. Like, going to school now was so much better than going to school back then. But then again, I guess it has the pros and cons because it's too much shit that be going on. Back then, it was unheard of with someone beating their meat in the school bathroom. What the fuck am I looking at? You got one leg facing this way. You got two completely separate pairs of legs. But what? Now this shit is just common practice, bro. Like, what the hell is wrong with society? Like, I've heard some situations of people beating their meat while the stall door is open. Like, what is wrong? Now, you can't forget about the future P-Hub prospects that be in the bathrooms, too. Oh, them school whores goodness. nowadays will get you head in the bathroom as long as you say they're pretty. Back then, you actually had to work for your opportunity. You had to talk to her, take her out a little bit. Then you can indulge in her hoardings. Nowadays, as long as you say she's pretty, she'll slap you up, bruh. Speaking of athletes getting top, the athletes back then are way different than the athletes now. Nowadays. Then if you dunked in a high school basketball game, everybody would be talking about it, bruh. Like, everybody would be talking about it all week, hell, all month. Hell, that shit might be in a town paper, bruh. Like, bro, that's a big deal. But nowadays, these people are windmilling in East Bay with ease in high school basketball games, bruh. Like, what the actual hell, bruh? I don't know what they put in this new dose of kids, bro. This new fucking batch of super niggas. But damn. 
side note, I'm actually very lucky. If I would have played basketball, especially with the height I am now, because, you know, I'm six feet. If I would have played basketball back then, nigga, I'd be in the league right now, bro. Like, I wish my peoples would have put me in that shit, bro. I went to my first football game the other day. That shit was so lit. I'm thinking, like, I would have been wrecking shit on the field. But don't worry, because I'm going to make my kids do it. <laughs> it's like, nah. I would never force my kids to do anything that they didn't want to do. But at the same time, you do have to push them in the right direction, bro. I believe that, I firmly believe that you have to push your kids in that direction to see what they like, and then later on they can decide if they want to go through it or not. But just letting them sit around not doing shit, that doesn't do anything for their development at all, bro. Another thing that's very different is the clothes that we wear. Like back then, people used to wear baggy clothing, shorts all the way to their ankles and shit. Girls would be wearing sweaters sometimes. Nowadays in high school, it would be looking like euphoria high. Every girl be wearing crop tops. Everybody wearing leggings or the forbidden pants and shit. Ah, hell. It and then how guys dress is completely different too. The guys, they're either pulling up with designer, Gucci belts, some new retros or some shit, or they're just dressing super casual. Hoodies, sweatpants, jeans, maybe. Girls be wearing hoodies too, bro. Not everybody be dressing like it's your boy. Like back then, there used to be a lot more relationships in high school, man. That was back in a generation where high school sweethearts were actually still a thing. Relationships really? were actually taken seriously. Like if a girl cheated on a guy, it would be like huge news in the school. But nowadays, cheating is common and everybody wants to have a roster. Everyone wants Wants to have hoes and they're not trying to have hoes they're trying to be in a relationship but then she in that relationship with i swear that shit doesn't make any sense why don't you just stay single if you want to be a thought you could have stayed out of my fucking life but you chose to come to me and then you was like oh yeah i love you and then next thing you know you walk 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 like what the fuck stay away from me bro we could have been sneaky links if that was the point like, bro, I don't understand people sometimes, bro. Like, we could have literally just stayed friends or friends with benefits. But no, you want to come into my life, fuck up my peace, and then, like, bro, fuck out of here. That should be getting me tight, bro. I swear. Doesn't make any sense. There's only a small portion of relationships that are actually healthy nowadays, which is crazy. Like, 1%. Opinion. Not to say there weren't toxic relationships back then. There definitely were. But it's just way Oh, no, more. the thing about toxic relationships is back then, motherfuckers used to get beat. And when I say motherfuckers, I mainly mean women. But then again, I'm not saying there wasn't any men cases. But you know what I'm saying? That's neither here nor there. But back then, motherfuckers was getting, like, beat because of shit like that. Like, the toxic relationships. And then, you know, you're saying you got the casual, typical movie scene where the brother or family member or father, if they was around, comes and saves the day. And then they stop talking to them. They stop talking to that person completely. Nowadays, do you know what happens? Motherfuckers fight, rip each other's eyes out, hair, teeth. All that shit, and then they back talking the next day. Whole time, bitch got an eye patch on because her nigga just hit her her shit. Now she can't see. She have Ray Charles or not? Whoa, 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 whoa! What's that nigga name? Um, chat, chat. What's that blind nigga's name? Um, Stevie Wonder. You have Stevie Wonder because your toxic ass boyfriend that you just can't let go of because you have a fucking soul tie just hit you in your shit. And like, bro, that shit is crazy, bro. Or nowadays than it was back then. Another thing that's very, very different is lunch. I swear to God, bro. Michelle Obama messed up lunch for everybody, bro. Lunch used to be so good, bro. Now let me show I'm gassing it. Lunch used to be decent, bro. Okay, I'm still kind of gassing it. Lunch used to be edible, bro. Like, you could go into the lunchroom and come back with an edible meal that didn't taste horrible. Like, them square pieces that they used to have. Oh, amazing. Man. They, you could get them smiley face fries, too. Don't forget them lemonades and the milk. Oh, my God, bro. Yo, school lunch used to I be decent, bro. I don't know what they did to the milk, but the last couple couple of years of school before I graduated, bro. That shit was ass. I don't care, bro. It used to be decent. But nowadays, these pieces be moldy as hell. The milk be expired and chunky and shit. And the fries are soggy as hell. Shit is just despicable. It's like if you don't bring your lunch, you're not finna get through the rest of the day, bro. Because there's no way you can eat that shit. Gym class is different too, bro. Back then, people either participated in gym class or just worked on the homework or read a book or whatever. Nowadays, if you don't participate in gym class, you just be on your phones or be having a little hotbox session in the bathroom or be having a little thought-thought sessions behind the bleachers. Again, 
nasty as he. And on that note, bullying is very different too. Because back then, bullying would be more physical. Like if a jock didn't like a nerd or whatever, he would just push him around or in any extreme cases, just throw him in a trash can or something. They would just do a little petty shit like that in person. Nowadays, everything is just online. If someone was bullying you, maybe they just posted something on their story saying you're a bitch or whatever, or just making fun of you that way. It's really not the same effect, bro. That's, that's one thing that I think has improved. Bullying doesn't really happen no more, if I'm being real. One thing that I feel like hasn't really changed is fighting. One thing that I feel like hasn't really changed is fighting. School fights is just something that's always been relatively the same throughout bro nowadays though if your ass gets beat really bad bro there's always gonna be multiple camera angles of you getting your ass handed to you and if it was really bad that shit ain't gonna go away for like two to three months might as well as transfer gang i ain't gonna hold you it's gonna be rough another thing that stays the same is parties i mean parties are just always gonna be parties the only difference is nowadays there's more drugs at parties and the punishments kind of stay the same except that they've added this new thing called lunch detention so i mean the fuck is lunch detention? also you can't forget about the scholastic book fair bro. back then the book fair used to be one of the highlights of the year man i, I remember me and my swear. friends go in there and get all the little toys bro like the invisible ink the pointer Thanks. things the lego books with the legos in them all of that stuff bro like we used to be blowing a bag bro nowadays i don't even think they have them no more bro and if they do they're just not the same they ain't got the toys like that nobody Let's really see if they got some anymore, so there's no point bro. of having it classic book fair just became a thing of the past bro it's honestly really sad bro i've had a lot of good memories during that time bring this classic book book fair back bro come on now also on that topic nobody uses books no more we all use online books nowadays there's no point for a physical book they only pass them out because they're required to there's no point in actually using it and nowadays Literally. schools pass out laptops and shit everything's online nowadays and apparently nowadays people don't use lockers no more either that's really become a thing of the past bro they were always too small anyway so there's no point in using them if you do you just store all the books that you don't need into that locker and then just forget about it until the end of the year a lot of people don't even know what locker they have anymore really crazy how times change and i think the last thing i'm gonna talk about is slang differences bro back then the only slang they really had is yo or yolo and shit like that bro the only other thing is they called riz game back then but besides that they really ain't have shit nowadays we have like a whole arsenal of slangs that we use riz thought god did on god on my mama god did. that's tough npc ratio riz we have so much more slang now Part of that is because of online culture and all that, but that's one thing that's very, very different. Also, last thing, teachers are different too. That Man, hold up! <laughs> I forgot about them. They're the main thing, bro. Teachers. Speaking of which, I got someone I want us to react to in a minute. I'm about to react to that in just a second. But bro, teachers be so damn fine. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, bro. Teachers, bro. Back then, you used to have old, crusty teachers teaching you, but they did get the job done, though. They was experienced, and they knew what they was talking about, and they actually helped you learn. Nowadays, we be having supermodels and TikTokers as teachers, bro. Like, some of y'all teachers, I swear to God, be fun as hell, bro. I ain't gonna you. I don't even know why they teaching, bro. They better start up on OnlyFans or something and capitalize on their beauty. You know people are gonna buy that shit, so you might as well get a bag off. But besides that, that's pretty much it. Appreciate y'all boys for watching. It's been a minute since I've done a school video, so a little throwback. Tell me if y'all want more of them school start definitely need more so gang funny as hell